Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So in this video, I wanted to get a little bit personal with you guys and talk about when you feel like giving up. I mean, the reality of it is, is that this business is not an easy business. It takes time. It takes time for you to build your portfolio. It takes time for you to find the right client and find clients who are willing to pay for your services. It takes time for you to actually start making money. I'm talking about profiting from your business in a way where you could pay yourself and maybe even other people too, right? So I just wanted to create this video to share my experience with you guys. Hopefully it will inspire you if you're at a point where you feel like giving up. And I just wanna set the expectation that this video is not going to be a video where I tell you if you should move on, if you should give up, if you should try something else, or if you should just keep at it. I can't tell you that. That is a personal decision that you are gonna have to make. But what I can tell you and what I'm hoping that this video does is to inspire you to turn it over to the Lord because he's the only one who can tell you if you're on the right path, the right path that he created just for you. Now, I'm not sure if I told you guys this on this channel before, but I actually owned another business before this one. And let me tell you, I had my heart set on that business. I just knew that that was the business for me and that I was gonna be so successful. But guess what? It didn't end up working out. That business ended up failing God made it very clear that that was not the business for me and I had to end up closing it. And let me tell you, I was devastated. I felt like a total failure, right? I, I, I was completely heartbroken. I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> I just knew that this was the business for me, right? So I wanted to share that experience with you to tell you that there are gonna be times where we have it set in our hearts. I mean, we just know that, you know, this is the business for us, but God may have other plans for us. And it's really hard, you know, it could be really hard to accept that. You have to let that business go, right? You have to let that idea go. Now let's fast forward to this business that I'm currently in, right? You know, God made it very clear that he wanted me to decorate, right? And to start a YouTube channel. But that does not mean that I haven't had, you know, hard times and frustrating moments where I question, like, God, is, is this really what you want me to do, right? I mean, in this industry, you have to deal with clients constantly, always trying to underpay you right? They have unrealistic expectations. They have unrealistic budgets. And you're constantly trying to prove yourself like, yes, please pay me my worth. <laughs> please pay me for all of the hard work that I'm about to put into creating a beautiful event for you. And then also in this industry, there's a lot of competition and there's a lot of undercutting so it can be pretty frustrating to have to deal with that all of the time, right? But every time I prayed to God, you know, I would pray to God and ask him, Lord, please let me know if, if this is the business for me. Please let me know if I'm on the right path. You know, please let me know if I'm doing something wrong. With this business, every single time I prayed to God, he made it very, very clear to me that I was exactly where he wanted me to be. So I'm sharing this experience to let you know I've had a business that has failed, right? Where God has made it very clear that this was not what he wanted me to do, even though in my heart, I just knew that that's what he wanted me to do. And then I've had this business where I have been more successful you know, but I've had my down moments, 
you know, we've had COVID, my business was shut down. Plus, like I said, there's a lot of frustrating parts to this business that I didn't anticipate. So one thing that I have learned along my journey, and when it comes to when you feel like you wanna give up, is to keep God first. Before I make any major decisions when it comes to my business, I always go to God. At least I always try to go to God. But what I have to remember is to be patient enough to wait for his answer. You know, sometimes I'll just pray to the Lord and then, you know, I'll just take it amongst myself to try to fix the problem, right? I have learned to be patient, to wait for his answer, right? To trust that whatever answer that he's going to give me is in my best interest, right? Because he knows better than me. Another thing that I have learned, you know, when it comes to having that feeling of wanting to give up, you know, I have learned to just surrender, surrender the situation to the Lord, surrender the situation to God. Because you know what, ever so often when things start to go wrong with my business, even with my life, sometimes I feel like I have to do more, right? Things are not going well or things are not going the way I anticipate because I'm not doing enough. So then I'm just doing more and more and more, doing the most, right? Trying to figure out how to make things better. Now I'm exhausted physically and mentally because I'm thinking that I have to be the solution to my own problem, right? If something is not going the way that you think it's supposed to go, right? And you're getting frustrated to the point where you wanna give up, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do more. It may be time for you to just surrender that situation to God and let him handle it, right? Or let him show you what it is that he's doing because we sometimes we don't we can't see it. We can't see what God is doing in our lives or how he's moving things around, right? Because his ways are above our ways. You know, just like the Bible says, his ways are not our ways. He's above us, right? So we can't see what's going on. And a lot of times we can't see how he's working these situations out for our good. So I say that to say, you know, sometimes when, when you feel like giving up, it's because you're doing too much. And it's just time for you to just surrender that situation to God and let him give you the wisdom, you know, that you need to be able to handle the situation or it just may be time for you to just give it to him so that he can just handle it. <laughs> right? You've done all that you can do. So now you have to rest in that you've surrendered it to God, right? And he's going to handle it for you. Another lesson that I have learned is that I have to take breaks, especially from social media, okay? A lot of times on social media, people only post their successes. You know, they don't post their failures. You know, and if you're in a place where you have doubt and you're on social media looking at how everybody else is doing so well with their business, that's going to make you feel bad about where you're at, you know? So what I have learned is to take breaks, especially from social media. Take some time, spend that time, you know, with God in prayer. Spend that time planning, spend some time with my family, spend some time with my friends, spend some time with my son, right? And just take that time for my mental health, right? Take that time to just recharge. So I have learned to take a step back, especially from social media, so that I don't get caught up in comparing somebody else's business to my business, right? And then feeling bad because somebody else's business has something that my business, you know, doesn't have at the moment. You know, I have to take a break and then just remember, just remember why I started my business and remember what goals I'm trying to hit and then just spend some time with God so that, you know, I can make sure that I'm on his path because my path is not someone else's path. And I always have to remember that and remind myself of that constantly, that my path is not someone else's path. And what God is doing in someone else's life or with someone else's business really doesn't have anything to do with me. <laughs> you know, it's really meant to be inspiration, you know, because if God will do it for someone else, 
he's gonna do it for me too. And here's another thing that I wanted to share with you. When I feel frustrated and when I feel like giving up, both in this business and with my last business, I always try to sit down and figure out why. Like what's the why behind why I wanna give up? So with my last business, and if you guys wanna, before I even go any further, if you guys wanna hear more about my last business and really how I got into this industry, I actually just created a video for my members. So make sure you sign up for my membership program so that you could see that video and you could learn a little bit more about me and my journey. So anyways, with my last business, when I felt like giving up, and I sat down and I thought about it, what I realized was that I just didn't have the passion for that business that I thought I was gonna have. That business didn't like set my soul on fire like this business does. I could not figure out how to make money with my last business. You know, I could not figure out a way to make enough money to pay my bills, pay the people who are working for me, and be able to do the stuff that I wanted to do, you know, with my life. If I wanted to go on vacation, right? If I wanted, you know, to get my hair done, <laughs> you know, have extra money to do the things that I wanted to do in life. I just could not figure out how to make money with my last business. And then also it was just a headache. Like everything with my last business was a headache. I just genuinely, did not enjoy it. So I had to go through that exercise, you know, with my last business of figuring out why it is that I wanted to give up. And I do the same thing with this business. So anytime I feel like I wanna give up, I try to think about why. Why is it that you wanna give up on this business that you feel like God has led you to? And you know what? A lot of times it's because of me. It's because I'm in my own way and I'm being stubborn about making the investments that I need to make into my business, right? To make it operate in a way that's not stressing me out and making me wanna give up. So for example, like here's a great example. A lot of times, you know, I get so frustrated with clients, you know, and having to do the back and forth on pricing. I used to ask clients, what's your budget, right? And then they would give me their budget. And then I would try to give them decorations and provide them with a decoration plan, a design plan that would fit within their budget, right? But then they didn't want that, right? They would show me pictures of something that was completely outside of their budget. And then I would have to explain to them like, no, you can't get this, right? You can't get this because this is outside of your budget. This is how much this is gonna cost. And it seemed like I was always going back and forth with clients about that. So eventually I came to the realization that I was gonna have to start displaying my prices on my website because it was just too frustrating to not display my prices on my website and then have to deal with all of these clients with unrealistic budgets. For me, it was like, if I start putting my pricing on my website, so now I'm gonna have to update my website to be able to display my pricing, right? If I do that, at least clients will see exactly how much my decorations cost, and then they don't have to come back to me and keep asking me for stuff that's not within their budget, <laughs> right? Another thing is, this is a great example, is that as you guys know, I take on a lot by myself. You know, I'm always trying to decorate a whole event myself. I run my whole business by myself and that's frustrating. And a lot of times I'm like, oh my gosh, like I just can't do this. This is too much for me. But you know what? It is. It is too much for just me. <laughs> So rather than me trying to do everything on my own, like now I know this is the year. I am hiring people because I can't grow, I can't sustain this amount of work. It stresses me out. I can't do this on my own, right? Like it stresses me out to the point where sometimes I think about giving up. But if I had a team, right? If I had a team to support me, I wouldn't have that frustration of wanting to give up because it's too much for me. So for me, 
Whenever I feel like giving up on this business, I try to figure out now, is it something that I can invest in? Is there a system that I need to add to my business? Is there a process that I need to create you know, for my business? Is there some sort of business flaw, right? Is there some sort of inefficiency? Is there something that I can do, right, that's going to help alleviate this frustration that I'm having that's making me want to give up on this business? Now, here's the last lesson that I want to share with you guys. You know, when I prayed to God and asked him in the middle of COVID, right? When there was that COVID shutdown, I would pray to God and ask him, Lord, is this really where I'm supposed to be? You know, is this the business for me? Should I go back to work? Like, should I do something else for the time being? God let me know that I was right where I was supposed to be. And even though the situation, right, it looked bleak, it was so uncertain, I just had to trust that God, you know, it's like, okay, God, like you gave me the answer, you know, even though the situation just looks so uncertain right now, I am going to trust you, right? I'm going to trust that it's going to work out. But now let's go to my last business, right, where God made it very clear that that wasn't the business for me. I had to accept that. And I had to accept that he had something better for me, right? So sometimes you go to God in prayer and God doesn't give you the right, the, not the right answer. <laughs> I don't mean to say that, but God doesn't give you the answer that you expect, right? You go to him in prayer and he tells you to let go of something or he tells you to move on, right? You have to trust that whatever it is that he's telling you to let go of or whatever he's telling you to move on from, that it's in your best interest. And he's telling you that because he has something amazing, like something that's gonna blow your mind, right, in store for you. But it's hard, right? It, it, it may be hard for you to walk away. And I know with me, you know, I still tried to hold on to my business for as long as I could, and it didn't do me any good, right? So I've had to learn that whatever, whenever I go to God and I seek the Lord in prayer, whatever he tells me, I have to trust it, even if it's something that I don't want to hear, or even if he tells me, yes, it's going to work out, but the circumstances around it and what I can see with my own eyes don't even look like it. I still have to trust him. All right, guys. So that's my experience that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope it was helpful. And if you don't get anything else, you know, out of this video, I hope that you get the message loud and clear that if you feel like giving up on your business, you know, turn to God. Don't turn to everybody else, you know, without making sure that you're checking in with God. Make sure that you ask the Lord, you know, for wisdom. Ask him to show you which path to take. And what I can I can tell you, right, from my personal testimony of having to give up a business you know, God telling me to give up a business versus God saying, no, this is the business for you. I can tell you that whatever God has in store for you, I can tell you that it is going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing. It may not be easy. <laughs> now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but what I am saying is that God is going to bless you and God is going to bless others through you and that you are going to be living out your purpose and there's nothing greater than that. There's nothing I can tell you I feel like there's nothing greater than living out the purpose that God specifically designed for you. So if you guys have any questions, you're more than welcome to leave them in the comments. We're going to get back to decorating. In my next video, we're going to be making a shimmer wall. So I'm really excited about that, right? So stay tuned. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.